we're all used to seeing reporters wearing bulletproof vests and helmets and other protective gear while they're reporting from some of the worst conflicts of our times. Some of us have even worked in those very roles. But what happens when a conflict grows stale? I know that many of us are used to operating by the motto, if it bleeds, it leads. Yet in a day and age of oversaturation and overwhelm, how do we keep people interested and invested in our stories rather than losing them to compassion fatigue? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. This is GMF Compact. So please let me quick fire some suggestions. Number one, don't give up. I know that's easier said than done, but keep pointing that camera at all the ills of the world. Keep asking questions and pestering politicians. Ask yourself if you don't do it and if the next journalist decides not to do it, well, who will? Number two, people, not issues. The face of a wall is not in the barrel of a gun, but it's the person behind that gun or the one facing the business end of that gun. Tell people's stories rather than regurgitating statistics about the victims. Wars are about people. Number three, communicate solutions. We're not policymakers, but oftentimes we have unique access to people who can come up with potential solutions. These people need a platform which we can provide. So please, talk to peacemakers rather than warmongers. Number four, seek out new angles. Look to your left, look to your right, and also take a good look behind yourself and examine the history of the conflict you're covering. Audiences don't want a blow by blow account, but they seek context and background and meaning. Taking today's events and comparing them to something else will open up new ways of keeping that conversation going. So instead of that old slogan, if it bleeds, it leads, may I please put forward a new motto for you to consider when covering wars and conflict. If it heals, it appeals. <laughs>